TJ versus Jenner. Picks and bans for game number one. Zareth. Zareth banned, yep, yeah. I mean, GBM, best Zareth in the world right now. Don't want to let him play it. Yeah, he is very good on that champion for sure. And there's Annie actually removed surprisingly yeah. by CJ. CJ has been known to first pick Annie. Well, I've got a feeling Annie's just going to be banned out tonight. It's too hotly contested, and with the Cinder Hulk kind of dominating the meta right now, do you feel like the focus on junglers or maybe even top laners kind of takes priority right now? Right, there's a lot of possible pickups. Lissandra, not really a CJ style of champion. That's certainly not one of their stronger picks this season. Meanwhile, very dangerous in GBM's hands. Oh yeah. So no surprise that they wouldn't want that coming out right here. Now, if you're Jin Air, do you ban the Sejuani or the Maokai? No, you actually ban the LeBlanc up against it uh, for Coco. And wow, first pick Cassiopeia, that Ooh, is that bold. Would be I don't know if that's the best plan. That'd be pretty dangerous, wouldn't it? Yeah. First pick Thresh, much more reasonable. Wow, that is actually very surprising. That puts a lot of faith in Mad Life. And I think okay, the Sivir there we go. makes a lot more sense. Now we've seen that first pick a couple times. Once already tonight. The response will definitely be Maokai for Jin Air, I would assume. If Unlo it yeah, well, probably, but would it be Sejuani? That's that's the question, too. Would it be that as well? I would assume they would take Maokai Sejuani here, but Chaser seems to, he's given up. Jinner has given up that Sejuani and just taken Rek'Sai in response. We saw yeah. that when they played SK Telecom, so they don't seem to have as high priority on that particular pick. Well, they're going to take Maokai, and I don't think it's going to be the Orianna. I doubt that. I don't think it's going to be that Diana either. A little bit too early to pick something like that. I'm picking Diana. Yeah, that would not be not be uh, very safe. Yep, there we go. There's the Rek'Sai. Rek okay. Yep. Again, that has been... Chaser's felt more comfortable on that champion than any other jungler. So, in spite of the fact that Jin Air lost two games straight to Bengi Sejuani, they don't want to take it themselves. And considering we have Maokai locked in, that's... Not really going to be a flex pick for Jin Air. So do you think we're going to see this ambition picked up by CJ, or are they going to switch to something else? Sejuani's still open. Ambition has played Nunu. I'm not sure how this comp is going to work for them so far. They have the Sivir, so you would think they would want Sejuani to ult so you could follow up on the Sivir engage. Oh, maybe Cho'Gath. Especially with the Cho'Gath. I think this is a little bit more reasonable. Pick up the... Nautilus right now. Probably going to be support. Yep. And there we go. Okay, so Cho'Gath locked in as well, too, for CJ. Interesting. So Coco with yet another mid lane pick, presumably. Ever since IEM, this guy is this guy is not... I, I'm pretty sure he has not played a champion he played before IEM, post IEM, and vice versa. Completely different champion pool, isn't it? For the most part, yeah. I mean, he played Ari, he played Twisted Fate, he's playing yeah. Cho'Gath now, he played two Vladimir. Because it's only been two matches since I am. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he's, I think it's been a complete switch. Interesting. It's really good to see Coco opening up like this, though. Well, we we know that he's to. a solid player, and that CJ was a little bit stuck in one style of play prior to their trip to Poland. And Alistair and Lucian. Uh, well, a lot of potential bursts, a lot of potential catches, and they're going to lock that in. Also works well. I mean, again, we saw the knock of Wombo combos that came out of a similar composition earlier in the night, so it certainly worked. And are we going to maybe have a top lane Cho'Gath and a mid Ezreal now? Wow, Shy playing top Cho'Gath, that would be... Quite a difference from the other Cho'Gaths that we've seen so far. Oh, well, Udyr would be pretty cool. I think Lulu. Lulu, this is one of the few times that Lulu's actually available for Shy to use. Oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I think we're ever going to see Nocturne come back. I hope so. I love Nocturne. He's a pretty fun champ. Well, we'll see what CJ picks up. I think it's going to be Nunu and something else. Not Mordekaiser. Rumble. Oh, yeah, Rumble's still available, too. We haven't even mentioned that. And uh, if you combine that with the Rupture from Cho'Gath, that could be potentially a lot of damage. Yeah, and it also fulfills the primary engage. But yeah. Shy is really going to have to hit good equalizers unless 
They want to get kited out right here, and it will be a TF, actually, for GBM. All right. So Janair trying something a little bit new. Ganked by Mom, taking that Twisted Fate to the mid lane. And it's, it's an interesting choice, isn't it? Because I feel like Sivir is, it's going to be hard to find Sivir on her own, you know? Well, she also has Spell Shield. You can certainly get into the back line, though, with this team. They really want to punish Shy, yeah. I think, is what's going on here. They have the Maokai. They can change it into the gold card early in this game. And True. they'll have that mid lane pressure. Uh, Cho'Gath's wave clear is not great early on. Uh, of course, you do take his E, the Warpool Spikes, for some additional wave clear early. But GBM is going to be able to push him into turret and open up some roams, potentially. Yeah. And Nunu, not exactly the world's most mobile jungler, too, so Ambition's going to need to be very, very careful about where he shows on the map so that they don't open up any TF ganks. Right, exactly. So uh, that 2v2, of course, Nunu will have a hard time winning if there's going to be Rek'Sai there as well. And CJ, very dependent on Equalizer to engage. That's the danger here, is that if that Equalizer is misplaced, I don't, even with the Sivir ult, it's going to be very hard for Cho'Gath and Nunu to close the gap or do much of anything at all. That's right. Well, here we go, guys. Game number one, a battle for third place. CJ versus Janera. Let's get in the game. Gentleman, Gentleman Cho'Gath. One of the finest Cho'Gath skins. Absolutely. I like that one way better than Battlecast. Man, me too. Can't go wrong with the Gentleman skins. CJ versus Jin Air, you're in game number one. I like the uh, the deep sea Cho'Gath skin or whatever that one too. Yeah, it's pretty good. That was pretty good. Cho'Gath has a variety of very good skins. He has, he's, he's one of the, uh, the more fortunate champions in terms of skin <laughs> choices. Yep. The least fortunate probably being uh, Zach. <laughs> Come on, he's purple in one. He changes colors. Right. And his, his like little pieces are slightly spiky. Yep, they're just missing out. I'm waiting for the Stretch Armstrong Zach skin, though. I'm missing the, uh, they just need to like get sponsored by Nickelodeon Gak, and then... Uh, Isn't that what he already is? He's already green and gooey. Right, but I mean, they could do one where he's more shiny? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, Deep Wards. Deep Wards going in, actually, for Jin Air. Checking out that red buff. See, they missed an opportunity to do like a Shreema Desert Zack, right? Make him out of sand Ooh, instead, of, uh, instead of gel, yeah. That would work. All right, okay. Trace is going to take the Wolves, hit level two, and TP into the top side. It seems that way. And who is going to get the Gromp? It's Jay and Captain Jack. But the will they share it? Yes, looks like they will. They will be the lucky recipients of the Gromp this game. That's right. And CJ takes the Krugs. Gromps versus Krugs, the ultimate battle. Pretty sure those are the gangs at West Side Story, too. <laughs> That's true. The Gromps versus the Krugs, yeah. I don't remember it too well, but oh, look at that. Jay already putting the hurt on a mad life. Stash by Jack. <laughs> Trying to toss out the anchor. Wow, this this bot lane is just a slugfest. <laughs> the violence. No well, kidding. Well, Janera actually gets the worst out of that trade. Yeah, they do. Yeah, potion has to be used by Captain Jack. And this is going to mean a little bit of extra farm and experience for CJ. A little bit of a lead there. I'm excited to see Mad Life on another Hook champion, Doha. He's, yep, finally. He's been through many Hook champions in his career, but never the support Nautilus, really. So I'm very intrigued to see if he can live up to his reputation. On you know, I, I like these types of Hook champions better, though, because Thresh is cool, but he's got that kind of wind-up before he throws. You can't be quite as tricky as you can with, like, Blitzcrank and Nautilus, so... I feel like Mad Life's a little bit, it's a little bit more in his element here. And Ambition going to be seen right at the blue buff here. Deep Ward going in actually from Trace. Yep. Uh, picked up that ward on his way back. That's a great ward to get in after putting pressure on the lane. 
So I went back at after killing the Wolves, picked up those pots on the ward, as we see many Maokais do, and now he's got great information. So good early game from Jin Air. Yep. So far, they have the information they need to be successful. Ping immediately Whoa. going down. Mad Life comes in on a minion. Yeah. But it uh, doesn't take a lot of damage. That was pretty ta tanky, and he has yes, that he is. W shield already. Yep. Gonna stand there being a jerk. Hi, I'm Nautilus. <laughs> Just trying to scare them with the, the visage of Mad Life. The grim visage of Mad Life. That's right. That's oh. really annoying, too. Yeah, they're just walking up and stunning Jay. Space and Mad Life are doing a very good job of playing this lane. Yeah, they are. Well, you know Space, top 80 carry in Korea, right? One of the top, <laughs> of course. Shocking um, that that is a true statement, but it is. It's been an interesting season. You know, oh. come the late game, if GBM does try for the TF engages with the gold card, it may oh force Coco to burn his silence in a pretty poor direction and That's use true. it while the rest of the team engages. What do you think Coco's just going to need to sit back by space then? Babysit him a little bit more than you would normally have to? Yeah, I, I mean, you don't want to use the silence. Wow, Chaser, that's a very aggressive gank. Yep, they're coming in on the Shy. There's a knockup. Oh, knockup right after he flashes as well. Will the shield be enough? Doesn't look like it's Shy taken down, and that is first blood claimed by Jin Air. And they're going to try and keep doing this to Shy, oh, as yeah. suspected. They have that hard CC in the top side. Bold gank from Chaser. But look at that. It was all set up early on. They had that ward from Maokai in, so they had knowledge that there wasn't going to be a counter gang from Ambition just based on the pathing that we saw uh, Chaser take right there into the tri brush. So a bold gank, but a perfectly safe one. They're going to give up Dragon for it, but I don't think they're going to be that that broken up about it. I no. mean, they, they can continue to punish Shy in the top side now with the TF, who's about to hit six. Yeah, Summoners are down for Shy. They have to capitalize on it, though. This dragon is worth more than one kill. Yeah, it will be some point, but Jinair can always catch up in Dragon. CJ can never catch up in First Blood. Yeah, deep, I, right? Deep. <laughs> Deeper than Deep Sea Cho'Gath. Or the, Nautilus. How about the Deep Sea Kog'Ma? Or Kog'Ma, yeah. Any, any Deep Sea. All right. And here comes GBM. He's got six now. Shy has to be very careful about how he manages his wave and it is pushing back towards him so no ward at the top side any longer ambition looking to get a ward into river he will get it but they're going to see that ward go down there's the ping hmm. so i wonder you know again i i feel like we're going to see more of what we've already seen you know aggression successfully done by Jin Air, but then when we hit that you know 20 minute mark or so Will Jin Air be able to continue to cl or continue to uh, keep it going? You know, yeah. like they haven't really been able to do it. Well, and also CJ in the late game, that's the question for them. Are they going to try some risky barons? Or are they going to uh, not be grouped soon enough and walk into some dangerous situation where they can get picked off? Yeah. And that's especially relevant with the TF because you can turn those turn the tables if you're separated so quickly. And I think this is actually a very good pick specifically against CJ Antis. Yep. Man life with a little bit more harass. Oh, wow, right through there. Threads the needle and gets on to Captain Jack. Nice trade from space. Mad life takes a bit of damage, but CJ definitely coming out on top of that one. That was a, that was a mad life hook right there. Yeah, nice Not threading bad. it. That's a fat hook, too, to yeah. get through minion waves. PH fat. <laughs> that's, that's right. No, Doa, nobody says that anymore. <laughs> You're just sounding old right now. I never even said that, man. You have to go with the YOLO and the swag to be hip with the kids today. No, dude, those are just two teams in the NALCS. <laughs> they are not anything but acronyms. Oh, the culling blocked by Mad Life. Hard to cull a Nautilus. Indeed. Yep. Oh, check right there up uh -oh. the river. That was not the greatest ward for Mad Life. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to go back to base and stand on the sword so nobody saw me do that. Space is like, thanks, buddy. I feel safer already. It's OK. Ambition's there to back him up. Yep. So first recall, Sightstone picked up by Mad Life. Pretty natural there. 
Yeah. Well, Space can totally see if somebody comes out of tri brush at him. GBM not making any moves yet. Coco is holding this wave. Well, CJ has been playing it pretty safe too. I mean, who's who's GBM going to go after right now? Maybe. Nah. Space is playing it too close to the tower. Here we go. Chaser has the option to go through for his red buff, and he's going to take it. Yeah. Shy target, but there's, you know, it's mostly magic damage, actually. This game, Chaser built Cinder Hulk. Wow. On to Rek'Sai. He learned from the last match that maybe it wasn't a great idea to build Warrior Enchant in the current meta. That's a pretty valuable lesson to learn. Yeah, the itemization from uh, GBM's Karthus as well, a little bit suspect in that series. Yeah, and those were definitely one. contributing factors to the team fighting from Jin Air that, especially in the late game, where they couldn't quite hang in there with SK Telecom. Ambition, great positioning from Ambition. Comes to the top side while Shy is vulnerable, pushing up so that they're not gonna be able to turn this around. Look at Coco as well, already motioning up there. Great wards around the top side. They can see every angle of approach. Yeah, CJ's warding is much better oh, right now. Oh, anyway. GBM's gonna try it out. Gated Destiny coming in, Shy getting very low. Here comes GBM, lands that gold card. Will they get the kill? Shy trying to make it out. Still alive, they're gonna turn on to Trace for the kill. Now trying to get into GBM. Nice knockup from Chaser, isn't enough. GBM flashes out of the rupture. Coco chasing, tanking those turret hits. Gank by Mom barely escaping, but nice turnaround from CJ. That was really well set up by CJ. You can yep. see how they were anticipating that, and so they they had the opportunity to go ahead and turn it around. Uh, thanks a lot to Coco's positioning and the fact that he was playing to the top side of the map already, and it started walking up very early. Yeah, CJ saw that one coming from a mile away, and I feel like Jin Air was getting a little bit desperate too. They just didn't have enough vision to make a good decision, but here we go. They're Chase gonna try to now. go to the top lane. Che, can he make a play? No, not quite getting close enough. Close enough, rather. Well, yep. there just wasn't going to be any follow-up. With Chaser's yeah. flash down, they couldn't safely make a play right there. And uh, smart not to overcommit. There wasn't going to be the damage necessary in order to actually pick up one of those kills. But yeah. that was, Jin Air can't make those kind of plays. It's pretty transparent. And if you don't see that Cho'Gath in the mid lane, you should assume that he's already coming up to that top side of the map. They didn't have adequate warding. Meanwhile, good coverage from CJ. Yeah, it really seems like there haven't been many wards on the map at all from Jin Air. Not quite yet. And of course, CJ knows if you want to mitigate a uh, twisted fate, just try to mitigate the vision. Yeah, Shy did have to use Flash, though, so yeah. there still is another opportunity to get him down. Perhaps on the, the next try, Dragon's up, Scuttle Crab in Jin Air's favor, and GBM coming through. Jin Air would prefer to get this one, of course. Shy can teleport down, but Trace yeah. with no teleports. Yeah, so. he just TP'd back in the top side to avoid yeah. losing farm, and they are going to pay for it, probably with a Dragon right here. Well, Mad Life and Ambition backing off for the moment to try to put a little bit of pressure. Maybe on the mid lane, no, just clearing out some vision. What can you do right now? CJ yeah. has every advantage around this drag. Great vision. Chaser's just going to try and gank topside again. Shy has to know this is coming. Yeah, he does. But are they going to dive in? Well, CJ's going to take the dragon. That's going to be their second. And will Jin Air respond with this gank? They GBM getting ready. Yeah, he's sending right into ward. This is pretty they obvious. Know. Shy, Gated SC coming in. There's a chilling smite. GBM under turret, throws the gold card in, it's but no they've mana. got nothing else. Yeah. Shy yeah. still in trouble, but this is going to get turned around. Uh, I think so. Shy may go down here. Oh, still alive for now. He will get taken out. But here comes Ambition. Coco not too far behind. Snowball onto GBM. Looks like uh, Janair's going to get away with this they're one. Very lucky to get away with that. Ambition not committing, but uh, yeah, that was a close call to be sure. But you know, they didn't get a turret out of it in the end, so it was right. one kill for a dragon. So Jin Air again taking the worst end of the dragon trade. You know, and does it seem to you like we're fe we're seeing a little bit of that desperation from Jin Air that kind of creeps up when they're playing against some of these better teams? I think that CJ is just a very good read, and I think that Jin Air's strategy is very transparent as to where they're going to go, what they're going to do in this match. 
And oh, bad life on the Captain Jack. A lot of trades there. Ooh, Che getting extremely low too. Has to use his ultimate. And it's affecting other lanes also. The reason why this tower is so low is because Space and Madlife have no fear of playing really far forward yep. because they know the target is shy. They know the target is shy. So they don't have to worry so much about themselves and also Ambition playing almost exclusively the top side of the map this game. Yeah, very true. So CJ is just reading Jyn Air like a book right now, and Jyn Air is making the predictable plays, and now they're gonna lose a tower as well. Yep, easy bottom turret for CJ, just letting it to kill as many minions as they can to deny some XP. And CS, but there you go, first turn of the game. Two dragons already. Gold still pretty even overall, but Coco's starting to get a nice lead in the mid lane. Yeah, those objectives are the whole story though, right? Uh, yep. You can be even while getting the first two dragons, you're gonna be in very good shape. Definitely. Ambition going to be going Frozen Heart as his next item. Right. Starting to stack up pretty nicely and space already with the Infinity Edge. Although wow. that is matched by Captain Jack immediately on that recall. Also picks up a pink ward. Pink wards for everybody, but crucially, no boots for Captain Jack right now. That could cause some issues, of course. Maybe. Uh, just clearing the wave with that equalizer, it looks like. Shy, just not wanting to take a lot of pressure onto that turret at the moment. Shy's played this landing phase pretty well. Yeah, he's died a couple of times, but when you're targeted and your team can take those kind of advantages as a result, I feel pretty good. Mad life not moving right now. Finally, it's going to be seen by that tremor sense. Yeah. Oh. Chaser, Ambition's gonna walk right on top of him. Ambition knocked up. Will they get anything? It's a weird 2v2 right now. Ambition with a big ult. Here comes GBM. Ambition stunned. Trace coming down as well, too. They're pushing CJ back, but here comes Shy. Gotta be careful not to get a position for an equalizer. But the equalizer's down. Wow, Captain Jack got a great culling off. A ton of damage onto CJ. Ambition still in trouble. GBM gets a bit too far forward. Hit with the rupture. And now CJ trying to turn this one around. Space comes in. That's a lot of damage from the Sivir. There goes GBM. And so they will trade one for two. A fight taken by CJ. But it looks like Trace may be another victim here. Yes. Oh, goodbye. Ruptured. So that ended up being, a, what, a one for three for CJ? Well, that was just another beautiful trap setup. Yep. Notice that Mad Life knew there weren't any wards in that brush, and CJ felt they had such a good engage that they felt comfortable taking that fight even though they knew Equalizer was down because they had the drop. Mad Life was sitting there, he saw Rek'Sai, he did not move, so they didn't know Nautilus was there and waiting for them, and Coco hit them with a great rupture. And that's a lot of damage yeah, from, from uh, Chogath. He has very good ratios on his abilities. So when that fight was started, when you land a rupture that good on a mid Chogath, it, it's very difficult to turn around. GBM is actually gonna be going for Lichbane, I think, as his next item. So they're tr gonna try and split push, actually. Well, I think the, the ganking isn't exactly working, so split pushing is probably gonna be the best option at this point, huh? Now, CJ doing a great job of just repeatedly setting traps for Jyn Air this game, and Jyn Air just taking them hook, line, and sinker so far. Yep. Or anchor, chain, and <laughs> Nautilus. Great analogy, Doc. Who probably sinks in water. Yeah, he walks around on the bottom. That's yeah. why he's in a diving suit. Exactly. I don't think he can swim. Those diving suits would be pretty useless if you if you floated around <laughs> in them. Duh, they're, they're for underwater work. Yep. You got it. It's true. Well, I wish we had a, a replay of that last fight, actually. Yeah. It would be interesting to see that setup again. I guess we're not going to be so fortunate this time. Oh, well. Coco, I'm curious what item he wants to pick up next. Lots of MR already coming in, especially on Shy. That's been the target of those double AP ganks. Yeah. So, as CJ right now, do you really need to worry too much about pressure, or can you just kind of wait for them to come to you? No, you can play the Dragon yeah. game right now. Yeah. Go ahead. You have great choke control with Cho'Gath and Rumble. 
So just go ahead, continue to control the dragon. They're trying to dive Shy again. Shy has way too many wards on that side. Jenner is going to play a dangerous game and try and trade this dragon for a tower, get at least something out of it. Well, there's a lot of CJ players there as well, too. Coco and Shy. I can't say defend tower, that turret. Though. They can't. But Ambition is going to solo it. Vision control around Dragon has been vastly superior for CJ this game. And Chaser wants to defend his blue buff. GBM there as well, and he will be the one taking it, most likely in the end. But that's three drags already at 19 minutes for CJ. Yeah. Yeah, it's already getting a little bit out of control as far as those Dragon buffs go. One more, and things will be pretty scary. You know, I just feel like CJ has kind of had control of the map since minute one. You know, they, they've had great vision. Jinner hasn't been able to really make their presence felt past River. Well, it's, yeah, CJ also just been there every time. They've played around this Twisted Fate and this Maokai extremely well. Yeah. And Jinner just hasn't had that unpredictability because of the Sivir with the Spell Shield and the tankiness of Nautilus in the bottom lane. It wasn't going to be the most successful location for GBM to gank, and Shy, the, the obvious target on this rumble. I feel like the Twisted Fate pick did really hurt them quite a bit. What do you think they should have gone with? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's that so much. Uh, as we see, just the, the Alistair pickup maybe wasn't the best here. Perhaps Thresh would have been doing better in that bottom lane just to help provide some several forms of CC rather for the for the uh, TF to gank for. It is a bit surprising to see uh, Thresh fall, fall all the way through picks. Jenner uh, definitely going to be fighting an uphill battle here. They obviously they can they are still in this game but CJ has been playing much better so far. Yeah. Moving into a bit more passive of, of a phase, and you know, the gold is still very even, but the dragons really are kind of the story of this game. Uh, they, they're trying to execute a 1-3-1 one, one now, so Jyn Air's solution to their current predicament is, well, we have two ports, so we're going to 1-3-1. Oh, one. Trace might be in a bit of trouble. There's a snowball popping the bell, goes back onto Shy. CJ trying to make something happen. There's a few more Jyn Air players coming up. There's Jay, there's Tracer. Equalizer goes down. Jyn Air knocked up. Mad Life turning it around and Ambition getting a little bit low. GBM looking to come in. There's Captain Jack though. What kind of damage can he put onto it? GBM decides to, well actually just dies. Wow. There goes Captain Jack and CJ. CJ is starting to look a little bit unkillable Space at this point. Space killed Captain Jack, or GBM in the yes, mid lane right there before he could actually complete his port. Now, I don't think porting into that location was going to be a great idea in the first place. I but thought he was coming in, and then he <laughs> just didn't. <laughs> oh, they yeah. get a turret as well, too. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Janair is going to be winning too many team fights against CJ at this point. CJ has been playing around this TF beautifully. They've been doing a great oh, job. Oh, they're going to get mid turret, too. Look at this. Suddenly, suddenly going from pretty even to now a 3,000 gold lead for a CJ just like that. You have to commend Coco for his rums. GBM. Oh, no, he was not, not watching right there. He was nope. watching the top side. That's why he died and tried to board in the first place. Yep. Uh, then their ambition barely going to his. Oh, oh no, he got nah. ambition. The prey seeker. Yep. Ambition. Wasn't quite enough to stay alive right there. Maybe chasing a little bit too far, but all of a sudden this gold lead really opening up and fourth dragon be coming up in about two and a half minutes. Should be yeah. quite easy for CJ to pick up. Shy hit a beautiful equalizer in the top side. Notice how he saved it, knowing that the turn that uh, Jenner was going to try to turn that one around. But CJ operating very well on the map. Coco always a step ahead against Twisted Fate. It's been impressive to watch. Yeah, yeah. This Twisted Fate has not worked out very well for Jenner just yet. Also, the one three one is going to be really hard to deal or to actually execute for GBM as you can see space perfectly capable of pushing those waves very hard at the moment and Shy has that Leandri's torment and Trace going to be burned for that percent HP so they're not really going to be able to win this is a oh great call boy. very good call from Jyn Air. yep they're trying to sneak this Baron it doesn't look like CJ is aware this is going on yeah no indication really that they know uh, and it's going down slowly they're gonna get it I think you're right yeah teleport coming in from 
GBM just to confirm that one. CJ still now, they now know. finally knowing that after this is going Destiny on. After Destiny went down, late. they knew. Yep. And there's the empowered recall. You're not going to catch them after that one, and that yeah. is a pretty bad mistake. Whoops. Trace also used TP. Well, that's the kind of thing that to get you in. Need to turn on, it that around. was a really good call, though. Yep. From Jin Air to try and sneak that one after CJ overcommitted on the bottom side to take down that tier two turret. As soon as they saw three people in bottom, immediate reaction from Jin Air. And without the wards, you simply can't make those kind of plays if you're CJ. You know, if Jin Air can use this Baron buff to get another couple turrets, they're going to be right back in this game again. That's it's what's scary. Yeah. Also, very important, they will have Baron buff for this dragon spawn. Yep. Huge, huge tactic for delaying out this game. It does help quite a bit. CJ's going to have a hard time keeping these lanes pushed up for the next 20 seconds before Dragon appears. They still have a pretty amazing item advantage, though. Ambition with the Aegis of the Legion, of course. Phantom Dancer finished on space, not yet completed on Captain Jack. And not too many items so far on to Trace, who I don't even know what he's building with that Blasting Wand. Abyssal. I, don't know. I, I would assume, actually, yes. Most likely. Well, here we go, CJ. Yeah, they have to kite this out. Remember that CJ really needs to hit a rupture or some or a, an equalizer to engage. Oh, Jade is pushing that life away, I guess. Yeah, don't think he wanted to combo there. Wow, they're gonna let him have this dragon. I they should think not they do that. Might. Oh, not even going for the mid lane turret too. They're gonna turn and try to fight this. Mad Life standing right oh, in there. Jack. Whoa, Captain Jack totally caught. Nice hook from Mad Life going in, Captain Jack. Take it out immediately. CJ got the dragon throughout that as well. Great all by Ambition, just keeping Jin Air close, keeping the kills coming. There's another one for Space, and Space going after GBM. GBM running for his life. Looks like he'll make it out with that ghost, but they're gonna lose the tier two turret. Maybe more, and man, CJ. They face checked that brush so yep. hard in that engagement. They gave up their position on Dragon in favor of doing hardly any damage to the mid lane turret and completely botched that Dragon contest. Very questionable decision from Jin Air. Wow, and they're gonna get an inhibitor too as well. Look at this. CJ on the retreat now, but two turrets and an inhibitor and the Dragon and kills. Well, that was pretty much the easiest 80 carry kill of Mad Life's life Seriously, right there. Right? I mean, Alt. nobody. And Jake, to be fair, should have walked into that brush. He had his ultimate up. You shouldn't put your AD carry in that kind of danger, but Jack way too close. Yeah. And from there, it's just over. Force Feast used. Great silence from Coco as well, too. Yeah, that was a very easy engage for CJ Antis. They, they just had to wait for them to face check. And with this composition, face checking a brush against Nunu Chogath, good luck getting out of that one. Mad Life also nailing the depth charge straight onto Jack. Well, he got like the the dream Nautilus combo, right? Yeah. Depth charge, stun with the auto, and then as he tries to flash away, you just hook him. <laughs> Not gonna get away that time. Yeah, well, Jack, very bizarre decision. Yeah. Well, Janair not looking too stellar here in game number one, and Oh, flash hook onto GBM. Mad Life gets him with the stun as well. Gold car turned around onto Space, so might have been a little bit over eager. <laughs> Space in trouble. Yeah, that was a 2v3 CJ. That was a little bit overly bold. <laughs> that was a nice bait from Janair, though, because yeah. Chaser waited in that lane brush for a really long time just to cover GBM while he was on the turret. Well, GBM was so ready for that, too. He's like, all right, I'll turn around and gold card the AD carry, I guess. It's gonna buy him a little time, but yep. more than likely, not enough right here. I mean, GBM is still pretty darn low damage in this game, and it's like he... Still trying to uh, split push. Yeah, he's gonna be building Zonia's next. Looks that way. Gonna recall now, we'll see what he can pick up. So Jynair not out of this game yet, but with one inhibitor already down, it's be pretty tough to take it. Yeah, still no, uh, still no last whisper either. And Coco getting closer and closer to that Zonia's hourglass himself. Yeah. So here we go. CJ committing to the tier two and top. No AD carry. Yep, they've got a lot of damage. There's AD carry. Captain Jack coming back with the culling. 
And Rek'Sai now split pushing with the Void Rush, even though Rek'Sai doesn't have any tunnels in topside. Or a Warrior in chance. It's going to be a pretty slow push. Yep. But Jenner, they're trying to hold on as best they can. No they culling. Probably hold for a while. Well, until now, anyway. I guess I guess a while was a bit of an exaggeration, wasn't it? Super Hulk split push Rek'Sai. Pretty slow. Yeah. Here we go. Trying to come in. And will they do anything? Trey's trying to get in the back lines there. Greer goes down to bot. Uh, space using his ult, but actually tanking that turret, so. Whoops. Not the best siege there from CJ. All right, here comes CJ again. And Trace just can't find an angle. He's still way too squishy to try to get into the back lines on the yeah, space. CJ has such a tremendous advantage right now. It's well, space has so much protection. As long as he doesn't tank turrets, yes. Yes, he huh. does. That's the key. Double zone is going to be so brutal, too, once CJ gets it. It's going to be yeah. no getting at space once those items come through. Don't let your AD carry tank the turret. That's a great idea. Whoa, great nice engage. knock up from Jay. Ken Jinair follows up. Gold card comes in. Great equalizer, though, for Shy. Ambition again with a nice absolute zero. Coco taking some damage, but turning around for the silence onto Trace now. There goes the turret, and CJ just bulldozing their way into the base, calling a little bit of damage from Captain Jack, but not a lot. This inhibitor, pretty vulnerable, and the rupture on Trace is going to allow them to take it. CJ backing off again. Killed GBM, and that was all they needed to go in and take the inhibitor. That's their second one now. Well, it's just not going to get much better for Jin Air in this game. That was a perfectly acceptable engage. Che really nailing that one, but they're too far behind. And again, they just don't have enough damage. GBM not playing a champion that can provide some AOE CC like Cho'Gath can in the late game. It's just very low damage. You see GBM running in here with Ghost gets smacked oh by Depth Charge Equalizer, and there's a heal from Jack, but that's not going to save him. Yep. Crowd control from CJ, just too much right now for Jenner to handle. You know, they picked another composition that required some snowball in the mid game, and CJ played very well around it, anticipated all of Jenner's moves. I feel like with the way CJ wins games to Jenner kind of played right into their hands, you know? Yeah, well. I don't know. This is how CJ think, wins, right? I, I think CJ did a very good job. Oh, they're going to turn on the Tracer here. Gold card loaded up for GBM. Mad Life gets the stun, I believe, on Duet. Oh, GBM oh. got feasted. Coco, Zonias, and meanwhile, the rest of CJ going to clean up. Chaser, 1v1 versus Shy, and CJ, wow. Yeah, they're just not going to win a fight. This was like 15 minutes ago. Remember we said, I don't think Jenner is going to win a fight against CJ, and they haven't since then. CJ yeah. just too tanky. Shy, or rather Space, just virtually untouched in all these fights since then. Coco is playing this Cho'Gath really well, too. You'll yeah. notice in that last fight, they funnel into a choke. He gets a great wow. silence That's off. That's bold. I guess this is the end of the game. Flashing over the wall is Space. They're going to go after the Nexus turrets, and uh, a pretty tight game from CJ here in game number one against Jin Air. There goes the Nexus, and CJ one game away from locking up third place. GG. Great game from CJ, especially from Coco. He responded so well to GBM's map movement, played the team fights with that Cho'Gath excellently, and Mad Life as well. The map movement from CJ, superior to Jin Air, yeah. even though Jin Air had a tactical advantage with the Twisted Fate. CJ was there every time. They anticipated their moves. They were one step ahead. Yeah, Jin Air just never got any opportunities really with that Twisted Fate, no vision. No real map presence to speak of. Predictable. That's, that and spells victory for CJ. Yeah, 